back to my channel. So today's video is going to be me trying out new makeup. Yay! I haven't bought makeup since December, maybe? Yeah, I think December. So I have a big bag full of goodies. Um, I've been going around, like I went to Ulta, I went to Walmart, I went to CVS, Walgreens, like just looking around for like new makeup because I was kind of getting into a little bit of a rut with makeup. Um, I had my set routine, I used the same products, I just knew what I loved and I wasn't trying anything new. So today I figured why not film a video of me trying out new makeup. Yay! So my hair let me just start off i am trying new hairstyles so if you think i look stupid i don't give a so if you don't like my hair don't watch i hope you guys enjoy today's video so first i'm gonna prime my eyes with the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion i picked this one up from ulta this used to be my favorite eyeshadow primer in high school I believe this palette was about $12.93, which isn't too bad. Ooh, it comes with a brush. It comes with a brush. It's a really nice brush. It's really soft and dense. Maybe I'll use this brush. So this is what the palette looks like. Very neutral, warm shades, which are my fave. Love it. Very beautiful. Um, I know Casey Holmes did a video on this and that's why I went to go pick it up because she did a video and it just looked absolutely beautiful um, on her and the shades looked like they really blended out really well so pretty excited to try that. So this palette doesn't look like it has a transition shade for me to put on. I think I'm going to jump in into the 35R palette. So I'm going to pick up this shade right here on my brush. <sighs> Just to use as a transition shade. Now I'm going to use the M433 brush. It's just a smaller um, denser brush. And I'm going to go into the Flower Beauty. I think I'm gonna pick up this brown right here. This one right here. I'm gonna put this in the outer corner. Oh, that is super pigmented, look at that. So I'm just gonna put that in the outer V. That's blending out really nicely. I thought that was gonna go on way darker than it did. Now I'm gonna take a more precise brush. This is the R41. And I'm going to pick up this dark brown shade right here. These are super pigmented. And I'm just going to focus this right here in the outer corner. And I'm just taking a clean blending brush. This is the M421 brush, just to blend everything together. Now I'm going to try the NYX Glitter Primer. I got this one at Ulta. So it just looks like that. Which is a nice holographic packaging. Very pretty. And I am going to use this with this Wet n Wild Dense uh, Eyeshadow Brush.
So I'm gonna put this down right in the inner corner of my eye before I go in with any kind of shimmery eyeshadow because I really wanna try and see if this makes the shimmery eyeshadow more pigmented. Now taking my Morphe eyeshadow brush, this is the M224. I'm going to pick up the lightest shade in the palette. And I'm going to put that right on top of that glitter glue. Ooh. Ooh, that is pigmented. So sometimes when you're blending, um, some of the color will blend away and that's okay because you can always go right back in and add more color, blend it out, add more color, blend it out. You just want to work slowly when you're working with dark colors. I'm just going to add more of that dark brown color with the same brush that we were using before just to deepen it up a little bit more. I would definitely say I love this palette, but this, the dark brown shade right here, this one is just, it's a little bit difficult to blend. Ooh. It's a little bit more difficult to blend out. I'm going to try, I've never tried like loose glitter like this. So I'm going to try this NYX Glitter Brilliance in gold. I'm a little nervous. That's what it looks like right there. So I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that NYX Glitter Glue. I'm going to use the same Wet n Wild brush. And I'm just going to put it on top of that eyeshadow that we used before. And then I'm going to go with the same brush, pick up the pigment. And set it right on top of that glitter glue. Ooh, looking pretty. Looks pretty, not gonna lie. That glitter is really sticking to that glitter glue, which is really good. Like I'm not having a lot of fallout, which is awesome. Really, really awesome. So, looks really pretty. Okay, so I just finished my eyeliner. It was a little bit of a hassle. I'm gonna move on to primer. I'm gonna be using the same primers that I always use. My Smashbox One Heck of a Blot and my NYX Angel Veil. So I wanna try a new foundation. Well, I have already tried this foundation. <laughs> And I already love it. Um, it's the Maybelline, what is this? Dream Cushion Foundation. This is amazing, guys. If you have oily skin and you just need something that's like super quick and like no hassle whatsoever, definitely pick this foundation up. I thought that these cushions, because I know L'Oreal has one, I thought that. They just weren't gonna work for my skin because I'm super super oily but it's it just makes your like skin look airbrushed so if you have oily skin this foundation will work for you and it'll last all day and it's super lightweight 
and to me the coverage is definitely like you can either do light coverage or you can do full coverage and it doesn't look cakey it's just a really really nice foundation i have mine in the color porcelain which is of course the lightest shade so it just looks like that i've been using my real techniques uh, sponge with it and I, if I'm in a like rush I'll just dab it in there and then one time and it covers everything very beautifully but I bought the morphe y6 brush it's just a flat top foundation brush and I've been wanting to try this brush I've never ever applied my foundation with a brush ever so this is my first time on camera doing it and I wanted to try it with my Maybelline so I'm just going to do that. Just dump it in there about three or four times. Get some product on my brush. Hopefully that's not a lot. Let's see how this works. Ooh. I dabbed it in there a couple of times. Look at that. It's just not... Maybe this foundation works better with sponges because look at that it has to be the brush because look at that it is not good coverage whatsoever yeah, I don't like how this is blending in the foundation. I feel like it's just not giving me the coverage that I like with this brush. And I've used this foundation with a sponge and it's amazing coverage. So I'm going to put the brush down. And I'm going to try this L'Oreal Blend Artist Infallible Sponge. I've been wanting to try this. So I'm gonna go wet it and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what the sponge looks like wet. It's nice and like, it's not so dense, which is really nice. So I'm going to dip this back into my Maybelline, pick up some product, see how this one works. Oh yeah, that's a little bit better. That's way better coverage than what the brush was giving me and this is my first time using the L'Oreal sponge I have heard good reviews on it this color really matches me very well which I really like because as y'all know, it's very hard for me to find foundations that match me. But this one matches very well. As you can see, the coverage. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like with my Real Techniques sponge, it just picks up more product like on this side. I don't know if it's because it's more dense or if it doesn't soak up a lot of the product. I'm not so sure but with this foundation I definitely like my Real Techniques sponge a lot better now I'm gonna move on to concealer I have been dying dying to try this foundation in like forever and I could never find it at my Ulta when I was living in Texas I was always so bummed because I could never find it and the Ulta in Yuli fine like had it like a whole display and I was like so excited so they didn't have the lightest shade which I think is in fair I'm not too sure but this was like the second lightest it's the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer concealer <laughs> in fair beige I liked this color a lot better I love how the wand looks so I've heard such good reviews about this concealer like everybody and their mom 
just raves about this concealer that it's full coverage that it's just amazing and it doesn't crease all of these things and I'm so excited I get to try it so let's see what it applies like Ooh, that is nice looks very beautiful very full coverage as you can see I'm gonna use that same L'Oreal It definitely has a smell like yeah has this little bit of a smell but that's okay I really don't know how to feel about this sponge it's kind of like soaking up the product not gonna lie I'm gonna try to blend it out with this Morphe brush. Still don't know the number. See what that looks like. Okay, it's been blended out a little bit. Now I'm going with the sponge. Blend it out a little bit more because I put on a little <laughs> so I brought this on this side I brought it down a little bit more and as you can see it's super highlighting so I'm just going to add a little bit more right here just to add a little bit more of a highlighting effect but it's very full coverage the concealer just did a really good job at concealing my dark circles so I'm just going to add a little bit in the T-zone just to highlight the rest of my face so that everything is nicely balanced. So I'm just going to move on to baking. I'm going to use my tried and true air spun. I, I just can't get away from this stuff. It's just amazing even though it's super messy but I just can't find anything else that works for me okay now we're gonna move on to eyebrows I did pick up two new eyebrow products um, I picked up the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. This is in the color Chocolate. I picked this one up from Ulta. And then from Walmart, I picked up the e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in Light Brown. So I wanted to... I've been wanting to try, like, pomades, but... I'm, I got so used to using powder, and then I, I've been trying to use the Benefit Goof Proof, right? Yeah, brow pencil, which took me forever to master, but I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Um, I had to pick up a new eyeliner brush because my sister-in-law stole my favorite Anastasia one. So I had to pick up a new one. Um, I just picked up this e.l.f. Small Angled brush. So I'm going to try that one. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it works out. If not, I'm going to be really mad. And text my sister-in-law. Tell her to give it back. So. so this is what the NYX pomade looks like. Very nice. I didn't know what color to get at all. So ooh, that, looks a, that looks a little bit dark for my hair. I don't know. We're gonna try it. I don't know which one to try. The NYX Tame and Frame or the ELF one. That's what the NYX one looks like. And this is what the, no, this is the ELF and this one's the NYX. This one looks, looks a little bit more warmer and this one looks a little bit more cool tone. Um, I think I'm gonna try this one. 
feel like it'll match me a little bit more, a little bit better. I'm just using the spoolie with the goop proof. So I'm gonna try the e.l.f. Um, brow one. Ooh, pigmented as hell. It's very pigmented. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've never tried pomades before, so hopefully it all works out good. So we're just going to give this a shot. I'm gonna use this Equal Tools one because I don't like that. I don't like that brush at all. Marissa, give me my brush back. It's super creamy and pigmented. So I'm going to clean them up. I'm just using the Wet n Wild concealer. I love this concealer. It blends out so beautiful. Now I'm just going to powder using the same powder that I always use no matter what. There's just no better powder out there. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to contour and bronzing, my favorite part. I am just going to take this Flower Beauty Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette. This is the light to medium. This is what it looks like. It's really pretty. Comes with a highlighter, a blush, and a contour shade. That's what it looks like, very pretty. Trying to see, it's very, very, very soft. That's what it looks like. Um, I don't know how it's gonna look as a contour shade, but we're gonna try it out, anyways. <laughs> I picked this up from Walmart, and the brush that I'm going to use is this new Morphe brush that I got in my Morphe Me uh, subscription. This is the Morphe R10 just nice and dense I do have this one but I don't really like brushes like this I feel like they're they make the contour way too harsh so I'm just going to use this one and this I'm just going to dip it in there oh it's very very pigmented so be very careful tap away the excess And put some a little bit on under my lip and I'm going to contour my nose just whatever whatever's left on the brush very lightly so that's what it looks like um it's a little too warm for me I gotta admit for a contour shade it would look nice as a bronzing color, so I think that's what I'm going to use to bronze. So I'm just going to take this Morphe M401 brush, just a nice big fluffy brush, and I'm going to take up that same contour shade just to bronze my forehead. Oh yeah, I like this color for bronzing rather than contouring. It's very, very beautiful. Especially since I'm a lot lighter. So I wouldn't use this shade as a contour. I would definitely use it as a bronzer. 
just because it's so, so warm. I am going to blend that together. I'm just using whatever powder is left on my uh, powder brush just to blend everything together. So for blush, I'm going to use that same, the blush that's in the palette, because it's pretty, very pigmented. On camera, it looks like a really hot pink, but it's more like of a mauve, like a really light mauve. So I'm just going to use that blush. So I'm just gonna blend everything out. Same brush that I was using before. I am going to clean up my contour and all of that. Where's my, oh, there it is. Using the Airspun powder. And I'm going to use that, this is one of my new brushes that I got in my subscription, the Morphe R8. Just going to pick up that powder. Tap off the excess. And I'm just going to clean up that contour. And for highlighter, I'm so excited. I got the Jeffree Star and Manny Mue collaboration. This is the highlighter and it's in Eclipse. I have been dying to try this, but I didn't want to try it. I wanted to try it on camera for you guys. Uh, so it's still in its packaging. It's so beautiful, you guys. I didn't get this with the bundle. I only got the highlighter and the liquid lipstick in I'm Shook. So these are the two I got. I definitely want to try the I'm Shook today. Who knows? Maybe it'll go with the eyeshadow look. I don't know. So the packaging is absolutely stunning, you guys. I mean, just beautiful. And I was not expecting for the highlighter to be this big. Oh, Gee, look at that it just looks so stunning the packaging is just beautiful they did an amazing amazing job at that look at that sorry you can see like my messy ass vanity look at that you guys oh my goodness oh my god it's just so stunning I'm so excited to try this so I'm going to use the Morphe Y14 brush. It's a new brush of mine. I got this. Um, it's a highlighting, it's a tapered highlighting brush. I don't even want to touch it. Like, look at this. Look at this. It's so beautiful. I don't even want to touch it. I just want to display it. Like, oh my God, you guys. So pretty. Love it. So I'm just going to... I don't want to mess up the star or the moon. It's so beautiful. To pick up a little bit more, cause you know I like you know I like a little intense highlight. Okay, so let's try this. Oh my goodness, you guys! Look at that. Look at that. So pretty. Let's do it on the other side. I am just going to be blinding people today. Watch out. Watch out. You better wear some sunglasses. You don't have this highlighter. You better go get it right now. Go get it. It is worth every penny, you guys. Every penny. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So now we are going to move on to lashes. I am going to be using these new Ardell. What are these? 
the 207s, the double up 207s. They're very spiky. I've never tried a, um, I've never tried these before or these type of style. So I'm definitely going to try these. I picked these up at Sally's. So super excited to try them. So now I'm going to set my brows since I'm done with um, powder and highlighting and all of that. I'm just using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I'm going to go back into that Flower Beauty palette and I'm going to pick up this shimmery shade right here this dark brown one top off the X's and I'm going to focus this on the lash line with this uh, Morphe M432 brush it's just a precise dense brush Okay, now with a pencil brush, this is the M431. I am just going to pick up the same bronzing shade that we used to bronze. And I'm just going to use that to blend out that dark brown. So I'm going to use the same highlighter that I used to highlight my cheekbones, to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. I think I'm going to use the Morphe, I just, this is a new purchase. I've never tried the Morphe liquid lipsticks before, but I picked one up and this one's in Virgin. It's just a nice nude, which I love. So that's the lip color and the eyeshadow. So now we're going to finish everything off with some setting spray. This is just the Milani Make It Last, my favorite. Okay guys, so this is the finished look right here. Um, I just put on this black lacy choker and I'm feeling this look. Like I have never used glitter before, like loose pigmented glitter so I really like how everything came out and the lip color is really nice it like just goes all together so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know in the comments down below if you did and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my videos and let me know in the comments down below what video I should film next. If you have any requests or new products I should try, whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments down below. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.